Tsaritsyn, the third out of four Russian maps coming this September into the Battlefield 1 with the in the name of Tazar DLC. And answering the most intriguing question about this map that I've been hearing all over the internet, how the hell is it supposed to be pronounced? Well, if you want English pronunciation, then it's something along the lines of Tsaritsyn, and if you want Russian pronunciation, well, it's something like Tsaritsyn, but then again, it's complicated. This is the first map from the Russian DLC that's actually showing us the Red Army. And while we're not gonna go deeper into this topic, I just want to mention that, in general, the whole scenario, meaning the real-life location of the map, the armies fighting there, are an illustration of the Russian Revolution that took place in the 20th century. But going over to the more important stuff for us as gamers, well, let's talk about the design of the map. It's a free objective linear map similar to the Suez, and I'm afraid there might be some complications here. But let's start from the beginning. Why I think there could be any complications on this map? Well, commonly in Battlefield series, we refer to the three objectives map as a cluster maps, and that's kind of true. The combat on this map is very intense, and most of the time, the main fights take place around B objectives, which is the main cathedral, and it's a very well designed location. I have to admit that DICE developers did a very good job when it comes to the designing this location, both from the gameplay point of view and from the artistic points of view. But the main problem I notice here is that most of the players don't really pay attention to the sites, and while there could be going around the enemies, flanking them, or even trying to take the objective behind them, they're completely giving up on that. They just sit on this B objective where the whole action is and they basically stay there until they either die or push the enemies forward or backward. Like, depends on the perspective. But you get the idea and what I'm noticing here, right? The players don't really pay attention and they just want to fight on this one objective. While I'm not a game designer and like level designer or anything, I think that this map could be a little bit longer and could easily be a 5 objectives map. We've all seen what happened to the OG Suez in BF1 and how players hated it. The main problem we had on the Suez was the fact that the whole action was taking place in the one spot. And that was the main reason why players didn't enjoy it. Because let's take a look at any map in Battlefield 1, let's take a look at Amiens. If you're playing Conquest on the Amiens, you can go over to either A, B, C, D, E or F objectives. You can choose the objective you want to go on and then you can choose which fights you want to pick. And you obviously cannot do that on the Tsaritsyn or on the old Suez. Because you're forced to go over to the B point over and over and over and over again just to either push the enemy team back or die and repeat the cycle. That's why players enjoy the Brusilov keep or the Albion. You're not forced to going over to one spot and having all the action there. There's tons of diversity. You can either go on this island or on the other island or even go on to the another island on the Albion and fight for different multiple objectives. Here on Tsaritsyn it's just not the case. You just either sit in trenches or sit in the cathedra, and you either push the cathedra or you defend the cathedra. And don't get me wrong guys, this map is not that awful. It's a good map in general, it's just not perfect. It has its problems and I think it would be way better if it was 5 objective map instead of the 3 objective one. And talking about the vehicles and the aircraft on this map, well, Maybe not necessarily about the aircraft, because there is no aircraft here, but talking about the ground vehicles, each team gets one land ship and I have to say that it's pretty stupid idea. Believe me guys, I tried and I'm quite good at playing vehicles in this game, but trying to play a land ship on this map, at least play it to the point where you not only use it as a taxi to get to the objective and then blow up, well, it just doesn't work. Seriously, 
Using landship on this map is like going over to KFC and trying to order McDonald's food. It's just not gonna happen. But other than that, I have to admit that the map is pretty solid. The design of all the objectives and its locations like buildings and all the other stuff surrounding it is just awesome. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the only problems I see here is that there's not enough cover between the objectives and there's simply not enough objectives, at least in my not so humble opinion. Oh, and one more thing. If you are wondering what the behemoth for this map is, well, there is no behemoth. So it's either a miracle or DICE forgot to add it into the CTE build. And no, there is no Lenin Elite class to pick up. And that's about it for this map guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe and I see you on the battlefield.